Good news for Rancho Palos Verdes. The city has cleared some big hurdles to fast track emergency repairs to stabilize the landslide that is threatening entire neighborhoods. The approval comes after the governor declared a state of emergency following the storm that caused widespread damage. Sarah Welch is in Palos Verdes tonight. Sarah. Micah, hi, good evening. Yeah, the city learned that it doesn't need its own emergency proclamation. And we spoke with both the mayor and the city manager today, and they say this is a critical step forward to help streamline the permitting process. We spoke with one resident who showed us just how serious the situation is. You can see it drops. It drops approximately about four feet, five feet down. This is some of the damage along Cinnamon Road in the Portuguese Bend neighborhood of Rancho Palos Verdes. Crews prepping for the upcoming rainstorm. Eva's parents live here. It's, it's dangerous right now, and we're pushing and pushing to get help. We need help from every source right now. The city has learned help may be coming sooner than expected. Rancho Palos Verdes falls under a state of emergency issued February 4th by the governor, allowing the municipality to cut through permitting red tape. So the permitting red tape really is the uh, CEQA or the Environmental Im Impact Report, a document that's a state requirement, and working with the governor's office and then relaxing that rule, we'll be able to move forward with some work and projects within the landslide complex and gives us that relief that we need right now. Hundreds of homes in Rancho Palos Verdes are impacted by the ongoing landslide. At least two on the peninsula are red tagged because of damage from recent downpours. Roads are buckling and tensions are building about how and when to make repairs. Money has has been taken from our budgets to handle the current uh, storm damage that's occurred. The thing is, we couldn't even move, even if we had money, all of our own money, we couldn't move forward with the project to work on the landslide area because of the environmental impact report document required. So it's not really a matter of money. It's more of making sure we're following the law and, and those processes. Eva and her neighbors say with more rain on the way, these projects can't wait. Please give us the money. We're talking about Hundreds of people that are going to be out of homes, they cannot get another mortgage. They can't take a mortgage to fix their homes. Insurance does not cover this. And these are homes and people that cannot afford another home. And now that there's clear direction on the permitting process, the city says it's working on how to pay for all these projects. The residents we talked to are hoping that there will be a federal disaster declaration to free up additional funding. The city says it's finalizing its engineering plans and it hopes to break ground on these projects by the end of March, early April. We'll send it back to you in Hollywood. All right, Sarah, thank you.